So what is up everyone? It's your boy Norrenrad89 here doing a video going over my physical media collection. This is actually the third time that I've tried to film this video. First time I had some audio problems. The second time the last six minutes of my video did not finish recording. So I figured I guess this is probably the easiest way to do it. Maybe it's just a sign. So we're going to do it like this. Shooting with the phone, the Galaxy. So we're going through. This is my DVD collection. I used to have a lot more, like close to a thousand, but I dialed back, traded some in, sold some, gave some away, and this is kind of what survived. I haven't really picked up any recently or bought any that much, so these a lot of these are kind of oldies, so let's go through these. Wear Back, A Dinosaur Story. This is a classic. This is a really good film. If you haven't seen this film, this film's amazing. I freaking love that film. I used to watch this film all the time when I was a kid. Van Wilder, this is one of the first times I ever saw Ryan Reynolds in a film. Besides that, it was a TV show. I think uh, Two Guys, A Girl, and a Pizza Place, or something like that. Night at the Museum, Shall We Dance, this is a good Richard Gere movie. Spun, Brittany Murphy, John Lugazamo, this movie's pretty freaking crazy, off the wall. American Heist, I actually haven't seen this movie. This is Adrian Brody and Hayden Christensen, so that one I have to check out. I have a Batman Begins, it's a little damaged, but this is Batman Begins right here, Christopher Nolan. A Cure for Wellness, which is uh, Dane DeHaan, I think is in this movie. This is actually a pretty badass movie, psychological thriller. I really freaking loved it, that was awesome. Martin Scorsese's The Departed, right there, that's a good movie. Love this one for sure. Dodgeball. This is a pretty good comedy. I love this one because no matter how many times I watch it, I still really enjoy Dodgeball. Sex Drive, the unrated edition. This movie is hilarious, for real. It's like kind of like one of those bonkers just off the walls. And this is actually a rental DVD right here. But it's like just bonkers off the wall, crazy shit like Euro Trip, and you'd like it. To Sir With Love with Sidney Poitier. The first time I actually saw that movie was actually in school, in high school, I believe. I took an intro to film writing or something like that class and they showed my teacher showed us this movie the nice guys i think this is one of the best russell crowe ryan gosling like just uh on-screen chemistry between two actors the nice guys it's one of the best valerian this is a luke Besson movie i actually really do like this movie this is the blu-ray dvd digital hd i really do like that movie that one's pretty badass then we got a four film favorite corpse bride charlie and the chocolate factory Pee Wee, beetlejuice all that jam Matilda, gotta love the Matilda. Sorry, like I said, these were in like a bunch of boxes, so I just kind of pulled these out. Monster House is a good little animated kind of spooky film to watch around the spooky season. Yu Yu Hakusho, this is my Yu Yu Hakusho collection right here. This is actually my favorite anime. I'm a 90s, late 90s, mid, like early 2000s kid when it comes to animes. So these are some of the ones that I used to watch. Ninja Scroll is probably one of the greatest animated Japanese like mangas ever like for real ninja scroll if you haven't seen this movie freaking treat yourself like it's amazing Ninja resurrection. This was a TV show Cheaper by the dozen this movie's hilarious Steve Martin then we got the turning I've only seen this movie once, but it was it was pretty good. I liked it Amer an American tale We have right here Feifel Domestic disturbance John Travolta and Vince Vaughn. I think that's a pretty good underground Good tense thriller right there. I like that film Enter the Dragon. I'm a huge Bruce Lee fan, and we have the two-disc special edition Enter the Dragon right there. This is amazing. I love this box. It's a little damaged around the edges and stuff, but that's an amazing film for sure. On to the next ones. This top row is my Blu-rays right here. Big Fish Begonia and Begonia. I think that's how you say it. That is actually a pretty good anime. That actually made me cry. That's pretty emotional. Promar, that's a good one. Emoji Movie, got that because the kids have seen that movie probably like 30 times. Hotel Transylvania, Out of the Furnace, uh, Christian Bale and Casey Affleck. Mwah. Really good. Good character-driven acting. I love it. It's a good character-driven story. 1917, this is quite an experience. I, I wish I got to see this in theaters. I only saw it when it came out on DVD. But uh, I, that experience in theaters must have been amazing. Four film favorites of Final Destination. This is Final Destination 1, 2, 3, and Final Destination, I believe. <coughs> Excuse me. The Breakfast Club. This is one of my all-time favorite movies of all time. It is in my top ten favorite movies of all time. Someone messaged me on Twitter like a couple weeks ago. What would you do if they tried to remake Breakfast Club? And I was like, that would probably be the only movie in history I would maybe boycott. Because no way. You can't redo it. 
Bleach, an unforgiving two-pack. This is a Bleach two-pack of movies. It's an animated show that kind of <clears throat> was done by Shonen Jump. And I love the show, but that's two movies. I really had a blast with the show. Then we have The Foreigner with Jackie Chan. That is another good one. Batman, the Mr. Freeze and Sub-Zero one, and then The Mask of the Phantasm. Two really good Batman movies animated. Batman Ninja. You can hear my kids going freaking crazy outside. My kids and my nephew. <laughs> Happy Feet. Bruce Lee, Fist of Fury. I told you I was a Bruce Lee fan, so I got some Bruce Lee stuff that survived the trade-ins and the moves. Ford vs. Ferrari. My wife got this for me for Father's Day last year, and that movie is amazing. Like, I had an amazing time with that movie. Blade Runner 2049. This movie right here is, in fact, my favorite movie of all times. It just, oh, it, it captures everything. There's no way I could think of a film being perfect, and I love this movie. I adore it. It was one of my favorite experiences in the theaters. South Park, The Hits, Volume 1. It just has a bunch of hits and favorite episodes off the first four seasons, I believe. Speed Racer. Then we'll move over here. We got some Bram Stoker's Dracula. That's an amazing one for sure. I think this one with Francis Ford Coppola, Gary Oldman, and Keanu Reeves. This is kind of an atmospheric film. It might not be the best Dracula film, but it's got some good atmosphere. I like it. Sam Raimi's Drag Me to Hell. Then we got Push, which is kind of like an off-brand, like, X-Men type mutant story, but it's it's pretty good. It's got uh, Chris Evans in it. I like it. Uh, this is Phantom of the Opera, and this is the, I believe, who is this one? Joel Schumacher? Yeah, this is the Joel Schumacher Phantom of the Opera film. That's one of my wife's favorites. She loves that one. Scrub, season one, season five, season six. I actually used to have all of them. But these are the ones that survived. I adore this show. It's in one of my top favorite TV shows. Evil Dead is my favorite horror movie. I love that. That's the 2013 one. And if you haven't seen it, again, that's another movie. Frickin' treat yourself because that movie is fucking badass. <clears throat> then we got Wizard of Oz right there on DVD. Taking Lives. This is an Angelina Jolie movie. Don't ask me why there's a Halo 2 sticker on the side of it. But it's Taking Lives, the movie. Trust me. <laughs> Hairspray. The, this is the first one, a musical. My aunt was actually the first person who got me really turned on to musicals like West Side Story, Grease, Hairspray, all that kind of stuff. So Nightmare on Elm Street, the eight film collection that has all the Nightmare on Elm Streets, including, um, what is it? The Freddy vs. Jason. I think the only one that's not in here is the remake, if I'm not mistaken. The Invincible Iron Man. That is an amazing Marvel animated film. They don't do too many good animated films. That's usually a DC thing, but this one is actually really good. Has a good representation of the Mandarin in here. Spider-Man, the original one. Tobey Maguire, the very first one. Came out when I was a kid. The Witch. This is a gripping, good period piece film. It's a film that is kind of a hard watch because it's very thick content, very heavy, and the ending is like, it's just crazy, but... It's a movie that you don't really have to watch a lot, and you'll still get the enjoyment out of it because it'll stick with you. A Right here, Entrapment and the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. That is a Sean Connery two-pack. Gotta love that, Entrapment. Whew. I, I saw this movie at the perfect time, trust me. I was like in that prime period of, you know, hitting puberty and Entrapment. Catherine Zeta-Jones. My God! Like, for real. Now, on to the next stack over here. Action four-pack we have on the top with Raw Deal. Jean-Claude Van Damme. What is that? Among Dead Men, and then DMX and Chris Christopherson. What? Rest in peace, DMX. But, yep, there you go. Lords of the Street. Then we got Ghostbusters 1 and 2. This pink one right here is Aqua Teen Hunger Force Season 2. That's actually a really good show. I love that. A lot of times, the animes and all the shows like this, I discovered through Adult Swim and Toonami staying up late at night. The Land Before Time. Jason X. This is actually the Platinum Dunes like series right here. Special Edition one. Oh man, this is just good right here. And then we have, oh, oh, oh no, 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 collapse. This is the collapsing. No, Underworld Trilogy. I tried to move them and it failed. Underworld Trilogy. This doesn't have the fourth film in it, but this is, like I said, the trilogy. And it kind of sucks because you really, there's some damage on this one too, this box. But you really don't need the fourth one. Like it kind of sucked because the fourth one wraps up a storyline started by the second one. And it's like literally almost 10 or 11 years later, and that's when we got the fourth one. So I don't think anybody gave a shit by that time. Girls Trip, my wife and the, my sister-in-laws, they love this film. That's a good one. Walt Disney, Bridge of Terabithia. Bridge, yeah, Bridge to Terabithia. I think that's a pretty good, solid film. Casino Royale is one of my favorite James Bond films. Then we got Boiling Point with Wesley Snipes, 1996. Star Wars, The Force Awakens. 
American Assassin. This is with Michael Keaton and, oh man, uh, Dylan O'Brien. This is a really good movie. This one actually surprised me. It's pretty badass. It's like similar to like a, almost like a, it's a revenge story, but like Born Identity badass action kind of stuff. The Joker with Joaquin Phoenix. A very gripping character driven story. I loved it. American Horror Story, Covent, that season, this is the third season. 31, Rob Zombie's 31, which necessarily isn't his one of his best films, but still a film, Rob Zombie, gotta love his crazy style. Now we're over here, we got some Hitchcock films, 15 Hitchcock films, volume one and two. Rocky Horror Picture Show, this one right here that doesn't have a label because it doesn't have the slip cover, that's Resident Evil 2 right here. It doesn't. It used to have a slip cover, but it doesn't have it anymore. Best of the Best 2, I told you I'm a huge, like, kind of old school, early 90s, late 80s action martial arts type guy, and Best of the Best 2 is like a kick-ass movie. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, double copy of Speed Racer, I don't know why I have that. <laughs> Little Miss Sunshine, this is a really good dark comedy, I like that. Then we have the Collector's Edition, Last House on the Left, unrated. This is, I think, if I'm not mistaken, this is the Wes Craven one. This is the original one right here. And then I have the unrated for the remake as well. But damn, these two movies right here. I think both, I think even the remake, they did a really good job with it. I was impressed with how good the remake was. Like, I wasn't mad at that at all. Killer Elite, this is another movie in this packs of DVDs that I have not seen. I actually have to watch this movie. It says based on a true story, but I don't know. We'll see. Um... Kenshi, The Mightiest Disciple. This is actually a really good anime. This is the complete first season, no, episodes, season two, episodes 27 through 50. This is a really good one. I like this anime. Hostage with Bruce Willis. This is a good movie. I think I just got this for cheap, like $5 one day or $10 in a bin. And Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, baby. Oh, yeah. Some damage on some of these. Like I said, these are very old. I've gotten a lot of these over time as I've collected and then like i said i had close to a thousand then the whole collection just shrunk down as i traded some in sold some gave some away and stuff like that but these are the ones that survived i am thinking about picking up more and starting collecting again but i'm kind of a weird collector i go through phases where i did dvds posters pop heroes and action figures and stuff so it just kind of depends but Thanks for sticking around with me, y'all. I hope you enjoyed all these cool little DVDs or these nitpickings. Maybe I found you a movie that you can watch and pick up or try to find and watch during the holiday, hopefully. And like I said, have, if I don't get a chance to talk to y'all, have an awesome holiday with the family, Thanksgiving and all that. Party up, get full, get fat, of course. Have a safe and happy day, everyone. Peace out.